Okay, so what I'm going to do here is show you how uh, inverse arc can be used. Uh, if we go to uh, router 2, as you can see here, um, what we'll do on router 1 is we'll disable inverse arc on the interface by specifying the, the command no frame relay inverse arc. Then we're going to go to router 2. And we'll go into its uh, serial 10 interface, which is the uh, connection to the cloud, to the frame relay cloud, from router 2's perspective. We'll go ahead and uh, specify the encapsulation type again. Here's an encapsulation frame relay. Then we're going to give it the IP address of 192.168.1.2 with the slash 24 subnet mask. And from here, we'll just do a no shut. And then if we do, if I just do a debug frame relay packet and a debug frame relay events, what I'm going to try to do is capture that inverse arc, how it, how it works if you don't have the, uh, the mapping on your interface. So as you can see here, if we do a show run on router 2, we do a show run interface serial serial one zero. You can see here I don't have any frame relay uh, uh, mapping statements under the interface like I do on router one. On router one if I do a show run interface serial one zero, see here that I have my static maps to router two and router three. On router two I don't have any st uh, maps at all, frame relay uh, mapping statements. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is how inverse ARP can be used um, to gather that connection uh, on the link. So from router 2's perspective, if I do a show frame relay map, as you can see there's nothing, uh, there's no connections that we have. But as soon as I try to ping 192.168.1.1, which is router 1, as you can see here, I didn't have to ping it. As you can see here that I received via inverse ARP, I have received uh, my, my, uh, my dynamic mapping to router 1, and it's using DELC201. And as you can see here on this side, it comes up as dynamic. Whereas on router 1, when we did the static frame relay uh, maps, if I do a show frame relay map here, you can see here it says static. Because that's what um, what I did. I went under the interface here and created these static uh, mappings. So again, router two is using inverse ARP to gather the layer three IP address on the other side, as you can see here. It's found the layer three IP of uh, router one. So if I go ahead and try to ping that now, as you can see, I'm successful. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all my debugging off of router two. And again, if I do a show frame relay map, you can see here that I learned via DELC201, which is the local DELC, 
I learned dynamically via inverse arc of the connection to router one. Okay, but what I want to do is I don't want to use it for the purpose of this lab. What we want to do is we want to statically configure our frame relay uh, map, uh, not use inverse arc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under interface 010. I'm going to do uh, no frame relay inverse arc. What I should see here is well, uh, I'm just going to wait a minute and I'll be right back. As you can see here on router 2, if I were to do a show frame relay map, you can still see that I have my, um, my dynamic uh, mapping to router 1 uh, learned via inverse arc. What you can do here is you can, you can clear out your, your, uh, your maps here by just doing a, a clear frame relay and then just use in our, and that'll get rid of all your, uh, your dynamic mapping statements, frame relay maps. So if I do a show frame relay map now, you can see that I don't have anything. So the debug didn't show me anything, but what you can see here is that I can manually clear out my mapping, you know, my inverse ARP mapping statements by doing the clear frame relay and then specify in, in ARP for inverse ARP entries in the map table. So what I want to do now is if I try to ping 192.168.1.1, you can see here that I'm unsuccessful. Whereas before, I was successful. Okay, so now what I want to do is stick to stick to what we were doing before and, and create my static frame relay map. But inverse ARP, I just wanted to show you guys that concept. Uh, it's pretty easy to understand once you see it in action, uh, which we just did. So we'll go under serial one zero, and we'll create our frame relay map to uh, router one by specifying frame relay and then we're going to do here frame relay map and then we're going to be using the IP address of 192.168.1.1 which is the other side of the, the connection which is router 1 <coughs> 